In this demonstration, I'll be giving a brief overview of the VBA capabilities that Power OLAP provides. One of the most powerful features of the Excel integration with Power OLAP is not only the Excel functions or the Power OLAP functions you can call within Excel, but the fact that you can perform operations in VBA to support and integrate with your Power OLAP solution. Let me give an example here, a very simple example of how this works. Currently, I have a very basic sheet with a new macro in it. I'm going to go to Tools, Macro, Visual Basic Editor. Standard mechanisms can be used to create VBA code inside of Excel. For example, the, the, the code I have here, this is a simple example of a VBA macro. It's called from a sheet. In this demonstration, you can simply see that I have a rectangle that I placed in the screen. Within this rectangle, if you look at the assigned macro code, I told it to execute a macro called rectangle1.click. If we then go back and look at the VBA code that corresponds to that, you can see that I'm actually using the Power OLAP API to make calls to perform operations. The key to calling the Power OLAP API is this. The first thing you need to do is you need to define something as an object inside of VBA. In this instance, I'm declaring or defining something called object Power OLAP as an object. To instantiate that object or to create a reference to Power OLAP, simply do a set of that object equal to a create object call of the Power OLAP dot application object. Once this is done, you simply need to define what server, what database, and what file you want to connect to. These are standard parameters that you can find in any Power OLAP, Excel, OLAP Open, or OLAP database function. In this instance, I'm connecting to a local data store. If I wanted to connect to a server, I'd specify the server name or IP address, and then the server database. Then I call OLAP Open, which means that now I have a valid reference to that particular database. Once these basic commands are implemented, and you have this done, and it's succeeded, you can then call any Power OLAP API function that you wish. In this case, I'm simply calling a couple of API calls to, to test a sync cube. And I'm telling it to rebuild a particular cube using this reference. Here, I'm using the OLAP Exchange API to perform a rebuild. Other instances, what you may want to do is perform certain tasks inside of Excel. For example, a very common task may be you want to have a combo box in your Excel spreadsheet. And in that combo box, you want to populate it with a member list from Power OLAP. To do this, you can have a function in Power in Excel, a macro, and when you either open your spreadsheet or when you click on a button, the macro can connect to Power OLAP, retrieve a list of the members, and populate the combo box with those members from Power OLAP. This can dr dramatically increase the performance and the look of your Power OLAP spreadsheet. Keep in mind that any API function can be called from inside of the VBA code in Excel once an object reference is created and a connection has been established.